This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report, today, June 15, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in an unexpected or unpredicted geomagnetic storm. And we've seen that register on all the KP indexes. Our Boulder index shows six hours of a geomagnetic disturbance. Our Fredericksburg, it shows three hours of a geomagnetic storm. And our estimated planetary index shows three hours of a geomagnetic storm. Whereas our college index shows six hours of a geomagnetic storm, followed by three hours of a geomagnetic disturbance. Now NOAA has admitted that this is an unpredicted solar storm. Now, taking a look at our GOES X-ray flux, logic tells us that this storm was caused by this M3.22 solar flare on June 13th. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was Thursday, later in the day, we had a 3.22 M flare that was Earth-facing. And that had to be what caused this unpredicted solar flare. Now, looking at NOAA's KP index breakdown, June 15th, 16th, and 17th, you may recall that they had all ones on June 15th and 16th. That has changed up a bit. However, June 15th today, no solar storm or no solar disturbance was predicted. Not even close. Over to our WSA Inlet Prediction Center, the one we just paid to upgrade, right? I think there's several spaces of missing data here, and this is a prediction, which is very strange. Uh, today, on the 15th, they have plasma down way below 5 centimeters cubed. That'd be all day long. They have solar winds at around 400 kilometers, dropping down to about 325 today. Well, that's not what happened. That's not what happened at all. You can see Earth here being hit by absolutely nothing on their prediction center. This is NOAA. All right, headed over to Discover Real-Time Solar Winds. We see solar winds going from 364 clear up to 455. Now, they were supposed to go from 400 down to about 350. So they didn't do very well there. And we did break the space weather threshold here, but just barely with plasma at 10.73. So that's the impact there right after 11 UTC time. That's going to be about 5.15 a.m. this morning, central time. Now, NOAA has said that this storm might wax or wane all day long. The only other thing I could think here is we had that small coronal hole earth facing a few days ago and that could have sent solar winds towards earth here causing the geomagnetic storm because we're not seeing a big plasma impact at all but we are registering a solar storm on the KP index. So either the M3.22 that happened on the 13th or the coronal hole that was Earth-facing in or around that time. Needless to say, they blew it again. And they have some more interesting information for us today. Now, I'm just going to read the release that they just put out about new sunspot AR3712. We have a potentially dangerous sunspot that has emerged. Only a few days ago, sunspot AR3712 didn't exist. Now it's eight times wider than Earth and growing fast. Magnetograms of the sunspot reveal a mixed polarity magnetic field with north and south poles bumping together. Magnetic reconnection could soon cause an X-class solar flare. 
Any such eruption this weekend will be geo-effective as the sunspot is turning directly to face Earth. So that is a beta, delta, gamma sunspot. And they've put a warning out about it and increased our chance of a possible X flare. This all today without warning. Now, since Noah refused or didn't know the source of our geomagnetic storm we're currently in, this is the only other option. The small coral hole that was Earth facing about two days ago, which would also be perfect timing. So there's no way to really tell here, except for we're dealing with solar winds and not plasma. And solar winds are a product of a coral hole, whereas plasma is a product of a solar eruption or a filament eruption. So when it's all said and done, I'm going to have to go with that small coral hole that was earth facing, causing this unpredicted geomagnetic storm. With that said, God bless you and yours. Please share. Please subscribe and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.